Hey, so welcome back. And as you may have noticed, or you may have not noticed, or you may have heard, is that your edge router may have very poor performance while you're running, running OpenVPN on it, and it's true. So IPsec runs really well because it can be offloaded. OpenVPN is, is purely uh, software driven, so you will take a performance hit if you are using Open VPN on your edge router. Here's a quick little video um, where I'm going to show you how to roll back those changes that we made. All right, the first thing you want to do is SSH into your edge router. And we're going to go through these steps to undo what we did. As I said before, OpenVPN is not uh, hardware offloaded. IPsec is. Um, so we had to do this in order. So we're going to delete uh, the firewall modify uh, on the interface first. We're going to commit that. Then we're going to delete the um, the uh, firewall modify rule, and then we'll delete our static route. Then we'll delete um, our NAT rule, and then we will delete our Open VPN interface. And then also you can delete all the files out and note that uh, so these rules match my router whatever you're deleting should match your router we can also remove those files out of the config auth directory and then every trace of this should be gone so I'm just gonna copy and paste so I got this handy dandy script and I will put this down in the description um, and like I said, we're going to do this in order where we remove the firewall modify from the interface. We delete the firewall modify rule. Then we're going to delete the static route, the masquerade, the interface. And then we will remove the files from config auth. So here we go. We're going to copy and paste once we're in configure mode. Now, if you didn't uh, do this in order, you are likely going to get an error, which is why I said we need to do this in order because you can't delete certain things in a configuration while they're in use other places, such as firewall rules on um, interfaces. So you can see there I had already moved the files out, so that's why, or uh, I, I deleted them, in, but I made a backup. And so that's why you see that backup directory. So now the config is gone, and you should be good to go. So uh, I, there are a couple other ways to do this, so check back for updates.